Welcome, my friends. Today, we are gonna be visiting the filming locations of Tim Burton's Ed Wood, starring Johnny Depp. You're gonna to get to tag along with me. We're gonna venture around Hollywood, California and find these spots. My friends, can you stand the shocking truth of what happened during Ed Wood? Now, let's take a closer look. So in the film, the camera would go over in a miniature model of Hollywood, California, and it landed right here. Straight ahead here was the theater where Ed was showing the casual company and he was waiting for all the uh, press. <laughs> it's opening night and there's no press. This is where Bunny would come out, played by Bill Murray, straight ahead. The address was 1713 Kahanga. No longer exists, completely torn down. It's now a parking lot. But right there is where Ed Wood started. All right, gonna move to the next location. And that's progress for you. Hollywood, who would have thought years later the building would be destroyed? No longer here. But that's where the movie begins. Let's move on to the, the next location now. All right, straight ahead is Bordner's. This was the bar that Ed and the gang hung out in. This is where they were sitting and uh, reading the, the review. This is where Sarah Jessica Parker makes the remark, do I really have a, a face like a horse? It all happened here inside uh, Bordner's. And here inside Bordner's, it's where Johnny walked out after paying his tab. He walked right down here and inside this very building, he saw Bella Lugosi lying in a coffin. This is it. It all kind of matches up the more you look. This gate matches up. Down here is changed. These were windows in the movie. They didn't have this iron fencing right here, but this can be seen to the right and left of Ed. And then the camera cut. And this is like as close as I can get from the shot. Johnny starts walking right inside to see Bella Lugosi in a coffin. It was right through that door there and right in there is where Bella was laying in his coffin. Too constrictive. <laughs> the crazy thing is it's right across from Musso and Frank's. But this is uh, exactly where Ed walked in to Bella Lugosi and was just like, gosh, Mr. Lugosi, I'm just a big, big fan. It's like, why are you getting in a coffin? Planning on dying soon. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right here. That's pretty incredible. And Ed and Bella walk right down here to this stop sign and they changed it in the film. This is Hollywood Boulevard, right about here. You can see the Musso and Frank sign to the left of Bella. And this was the bus stop. I refuse to drive in this country, too many madmen. It's my best Martin Landau impression of Bella Lugosi right there. And then that's when Ed says, well, I got a car. They get in Ed's car and Ed drives Bella Lugosi home. And that's our next spot now. And now we have made it to Bella Lugosi's house from Ed Wood. Here it is straight ahead. This was the home of Bella Lugosi. Ed would have parked his car right here to the left using a wide angle shot like Tim did. It's cool you can see into the right that uh, electric pole back there. The telephone line behind the house and the windows are pretty much the only thing that kind of match up to this day. When they're walking up to Bill Lugosi's house, this house can be seen behind them. So they kind of tricked that shot because the house across the street is this one. And that's not the house that is. So it's kind of a, a tricky shot. 
and then I'm gonna show you guys a couple more scenes here. This is a shot from Trick or Treating, and they put a, uh, a fake light right there, light pole, and you can see the trick or treaters. So cool, man. Can't believe that's it. Bella Lugosi's house from Ed Wood. So Johnny Depp would have been standing right here on this sidewalk when he was filming Bella, which would have been used for Plan 9 from Outer Space. Then they tricked it again because Johnny was not standing here because if you turn around, this is not Bella Lugosi's house in the film. His house is directly to the right-hand side. And Bella would have been standing right there. That's where he picked the flowers and the last shot of Plan 9 from Outer Space. Right there. Well, Bella's scenes exactly. <laughs> yeah, right there at that door where the trick-or-treaters went up. Aren't you scared, little boy? Dentures. Lost my pearlies in the war. Happened right there. That's the house. Isn't that crazy, man? Bella Lugosi's house from Edwood. After further looking at this house right here, I was in the background, they changed the roof line, but the structure still remains the same. Tim's always got a way of making places look really different. And I didn't realize all the houses were this close together. He uses such a wide angle lens and everything. It's, it's pretty good. But now we are heading into Los Angeles proper Hollywood Boulevard, finishing out the rest of the locations. So right here is in the movie where you can see Ed and Bella walking. They walk right next to these breezeway box right here. And they continue walking down. The shot is just like this. Walking and talking. This is one of the last times that Ed and Bella hang out in the film and they make their way right here. And this almost looks like an old theater. And you can see that right underneath Bella and Ed. It's all boarded up now, but that's it. Right there, he gives his final speech. Home, I have no home. And he starts giving some autographs right here. And that's where the half human poster is to the left of Ed. And right here is where Bella and Ed were talking to Bella's fans. Signing autographs for the last time. Not too far from Ed Wood's actual apartment. Now here at Musso and Frank's, the one of the oldest restaurants in Hollywood, inside here is where Ed Wood met his idol, Orson Welles. Yep, right inside these walls in here where they filmed it. Gates not open, but this is still the spot. A lot of stuff was filmed here, used in a lot of classic Hollywood stuff, but I had to throw it in here because it was a location in the film. Not a lot of spots in that film are accessible. And on the next spot we're heading to is the Glen or Glenda spot. This was actually used in the movie Glen or Glenda. They also used it in Ed Wood, which one of the reasons why I love this movie. They used a lot of spots that were actually in Ed Wood's actual life. Real filming locations from Ed Wood, you know, in Glen or Glenda, real spots in his life. But we're heading over to where the crew is set up and they shoot the scene where Eddie walks around the corner and looks into the window dressed as Glenda. They don't have a permit and he yells, we don't have a permit, run. All right, way further down Hollywood Boulevard. Guy honked at me, way down Hollywood Boulevard. Glen or Glenda spot, let's do it. So right here, right across from the, the village uh, hardware tile is where Ed and the gang were getting all the camera and the equipment out of the car. And you can see Regals right across from Ed's head and those those buildings right over there, the windows. It all matches up right here. He says, I just want to say something. We are about to embark on a journey. They stop him. Eddie, I'm, I'm kind of worried about the light. You're right. Let's shoot this thing. 
and the camera pans over and Ed is standing right here in front of the address, 5642 Hollywood Boulevard, talking to the gang. And then the scene takes place right here. Right here in this window is where the lady was in lingerie. He came around that corner, which is now has a fence over it, looked into the window, and then took off walking in this direction here. And where I'm standing is where the film crew is in this shot. And you can match up these poles right here and the window and the way everything looks in this scene. Holy cow, the Glen or Glenda scene. This is actually where they actually shot the real Glen or Glenda scene too, which just makes this that much better. And I'm gonna redo the Glen or Glenda scene. Here we go. I can't go back there because there's a big fence. But Ed walks around right here and action. Looks at the girl and then he walks this way out of frame and yells and cut. Right there. That's it. The famous spot from Glenn or Glenda and Ed Wood. Can't believe I'm seeing that spot. That blows my mind right there. Glen or Glenda, man. B-movie history right over there. So cool. Pull the string! Oh, Hollywood, you've been good to me today. You're really, really torturing me, making me want to live here. Because I could walk around every day and just find a bunch of random filming locations and spots that I would love to visit. And right in this direction is where they, they say, hey, there's police. The guys were standing around filming everything. The camera pans over here and straight ahead, this building can be seen over Ed's head. He sees the police officer take a right and Ed looks at the guys and says, we don't have a permit, run. They run and get in the car and take off. It all happened right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final scene of Ed Wood. And our final spot on the locations today. You get, that's crazy. The frolic room, cocktails, is still here. And straight ahead is where Kathy and Ed pulled up for Plan 9 from Outer Space. They didn't have all these banners back then. And it was an old marquee. Now the Jackson Brown marquee is like uh, an LED marquee. But this is it right here the ending of of ed wood you see what i'm saying they've changed it. it's no longer the marquee i'm sure it's behind there but it has changed since ed wood but it's cool that the the frolic room is still here after all these years yeah i can't believe that's it the world famous pantages theater johnny and kathy ed and kathy pulled up for Plan 9 from Outer Space. Park their car right under here. You can see the lights. That's pretty wild. And Ed went right through those doors. That's it right there inside that theater. Plan 9 from Outer Space. And the ending of Ed Wood happened. Oh, he's going in. Let's see if we can get a, a peek. Oh no, that's all right. This is where the ending of the film happened. Yes, right here at the famous Pantages Theater is where the end of Ed Wood took place. They made their premiere, Plan 9 from Outer Space, and in a very not LA style, it poured down rain. And of course, since I'm doing the Ed Wood locations, I had to find Bella Lugosi star. This is it right here on Hollywood Boulevard, 6300 Bella Lugosi's star. All right, so now I'm heading to Ed Wood's final apartment in the movie and in real life. They did use his apartments in the film. This one on Yucca is where he spent his final days, passed away. Sad, because there's no like marker for Ed. He was cremated and uh, they basically just he exists now in the movies and in our minds. 
but we're gonna visit Ed Wood's final apartment where he passed away. I'm gonna show you guys also the liquor store. Ed would visit multiple times a day. He, he was an alcoholic in his later years, but that's where you're heading to now. Now it has changed a little bit, so completely engulfed in, in plants but everything matches up. All the windows match up, the building next to it. This was used in Ed Wood, the movie, but this is also, sadly, where Edward D. Wood Jr. passed away. This was his real apartment where he spent his later years. In fact, he would walk from this apartment right down Yucca Street in Cahanga to the liquor store straight ahead, the Playboy Liquors, and walk back. And since I'm here, I'm gonna walk across the street and get a closer look of, of Ed's, Ed's apartment. Can't believe I'm doing this. It's not only a filming location, it's a it's a real place. I'm not sure exactly which room, you know, which building was his, you know, not sure of his actual room number, but there used to be a dumpster back here. They would have dumpster and like, yeah, pretty much all of his stuff was just kind of thrown away, you know, but this is it. It's so cool how like all this stuff matches up to the photos but this is where Ed would walk out, right here, 6383. Looks like this is used for students, but I wonder if this is like the same button Ed would push, you know? You never know. When he walked out of his uh, house, the first thing he saw was the Capitol Records building. This is what Ed would see. So right here is where Ed would walk. They didn't mention this in the movie, but then again, they didn't really mention a whole lot of his later years. They stopped after plan nine, but straight ahead is the Playboy liquor store. Right here is where Ed would make his, his walks in the later part of his life. I wonder if he used this laundry mat. That's it, right there. It's famous to me. Not sure if it's famous to anyone else, but. That's pretty neat, I'm glad I got to see this. And with that, we have completed the filming locations of Ed Wood, a film by Tim Burton. One of my favorite films of all time. Vampira in this, Bela Lugosi. Bunny Breckenridge, just so many good people in this movie. Ed Wood is one of those films that means a lot to me because I associate with weirdos like that who just wanna make great things. They wanna create things. They wanna be around like-minded people. And for those of you who watch this, I'm sure you're kind of in that same realm. You wanna be around like-minded people, which is why you're a fan of Ed Wood. But this was a lot of fun. I'm glad you guys watched this filming location of mine. Been wanting to do this for years and I had to come to Los Angeles to do it. But it is time to say goodbye and I will see you guys on the next episode. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye.